Hi everyone, I'm Harry and I'm a graphic designer from Design Space. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to use the Symmetry tool. The Symmetry tool is actually another function under the Brush tool, but because of how uniquely useful this is, I thought it deserves its own separate tool demonstration. So here's how, alright? So let's access the Brush tool using the letter B or accessing the brush over here. Alright, so when you open the Brush tool, you'll see up here this little butterfly looking icon. Now that's the Symmetry tool. What the Symmetry tool actually does is it allows you to create mirror images of your brushes, brush strokes. If you want to create very, as the name suggests, symmetrical shapes or patterns using your brush tool, this is the Symmetry tool that you should use. Alright, so let's, if you notice under the Symmetry tool, there are actually a different types of symmetries that you can do. There's vertical, horizontal, dual axis, Diagonal, wavy, circle, spiral, parallel lines, radial, and mandala. Now, I'll try to go through each of these very quickly because they all actually have the same function. Let's go for the vertical. For example, I'll show you this. The vertical, you can actually adjust this. Put this right in the center, just like that. Now, what the vertical tool vertical symmetry tool does rather is that if you put the brush stroke over here you notice another brush stroke is being appeared over here so that means for example if i want to do a number eight there see i can even let the brush go to the other side and it will copy my movement on the other side there i want to do over here here there, see? What happens is that this line becomes your guideline of where the mirror image will appear. So if I put it over here, it will put it exactly over here and vice versa. So if you notice, that is what we did with so that's what we did with the symmetry tool. And go back to number five. Alright. So again, let's open a symmetry tool one more time. Let's try a different one. For the horizontal will do the exact thing. Let's try dual axis. So if we try the dual axis, this time, what the dual axis symmetry tool does is that from this point on, it will copy it like that. There. Just like that. See? You can create different types. You can create a very symmetrical looking pattern. Now what you can do here when you open this part is that you can actually hide the symmetry there. So you can take a better look of your pattern. Or Here's also another thing. If you don't want to use the symmetry tool, you can just turn the symmetry tool off. And if you want to put it back, you can use the last symmetry. Now, if you want to adjust the symmetry, you can actually transform it, just like this. We've done a previous tutorial on how to use the transform tool. So here, you can actually adjust this. You can rotate it. Let's say we rotate it like this. And use the brush tool again. Let's clean this up one more time. Alright. Another interesting thing that you'll want to check is this out. Mandala tool. There, just like that. So again with the symmetry tool, you can create a lot of interesting patterns. So this is really something that you might want to play around. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Let's do it with just one more here. Just like that, set up here. You may use other types of brushes, just like this. We just like, but I would just like to take note that not all the types of brushes can actually work on it. The symmetry tool will make sure to give you a prompt when it says that the brush is not compatible with the symmetry tool. But just, but that's a little bit of a trivial problem compared to the amount of things that you can do with the symmetry tool. Thanks to the symmetry tool, you might, you will be able to create interesting shapes and patterns with this. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching another episode of Adobe Photoshop demonstrating tool functions. This is Harry, your graphic designer from Design Space, and I'll see you next, next time.